Hello everyone, this is Shai with you. In the last video, we looked at the volume clusters which denoted the largest volume concentration of the bar. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the opposite side of that, the lack of liquidity in the market. So indeed, okay, there is a saying in the market that liquidity drives market but lack of liquidity can give us a big telltale sign of what can happen in the markets also. So we're looking at a factor okay, which is called showing up of zeros on an order flow chart and that always tells you whether it appears on the buy side, sell, sell side and sometimes okay, it is a function of liquidity in the middle of the bar also that will also tell you okay the presence the absence of demand or supply at a particular point so for instance if you're looking at this screen uh, over here there is a 169 lot uh, seller these are all numbers in lots so there is a 169 lot seller uh, at about 251 pm at this price which is about 19571 but when price revisits this zone again the seller is gone and you can make out okay immediately over here there is no supply there is only two and four against 169 previously now this tells you okay that supply is diminishing again okay on the next bar okay you're seeing again okay a set of zeros and the bar after that also okay you're seeing a set of zeros and eventually okay the market finds a big buyer who takes advantage of the fact okay that there is no more supply over here and he pushes okay prices up further over here so this is a classic example of watching the order flow to see whether there is existing demand or supply in the market and that is always going to be evidenced through the presence or absence of zeros in the market in this example also okay you can see okay the opposite of what i just discussed okay there is no demand over here the zeros are coming in at the top of this profile at 19625 level and the market is putting in some supply over here right so this okay tells you that demand is missing and prices drop lower subsequently okay you can see okay the lack of demand showing up all over this chart zero zero zeros and the market okay proceeds okay to drop because okay there is no demand coming in so you can say for sure that 19625 is now got supply 19605 has got supply and you can initiate a put position based on this information okay uh, let's look at a few more examples just to illustrate okay how effective okay zeros can help you right here over here at the very top at 19653 okay you see the sell side okay going up there is a cluster also but again okay there are zeros over here which tells you okay that demand is gone away okay from the market let's look at another instrument we'll pick up the bank nifty if you see okay that the market is going up and uh, this is the bank nifty 44817 the market is again okay not showing any demand over here because the demand side is showing zeros and the supply side is adding up okay over here and uh, you can make out on that retest again there is no demand there is no demand and then okay the seller okay starts initiating okay positions over here and the market okay drops subsequently so if you wanted to buy into this market over here by just looking at this order flow chart you can come to know immediately that there is no demand above 44800 and the market okay can drop drop lower let's look at okay what really happened over here in this particular bar so this is uh, the previous bar and this bar closed up as the green this is the high right here 44805 this is the low 44785 uh, the open was uh, here and uh, the close is here because the the close is greater than the open that's why okay this uh, particular bar is a green bar and because it's closed over here the market is opened over here in the next bar and it's put in okay a high of uh, 44803 over here so this is the 350 lots okay which is coming on the supply side to eliminate okay this 117 and 72 lot buyer which is there on the demand side and he comes in he takes away this supply as price tries to probe up and he starts okay pushing this market down and the market okay starts going down further till this 108 and 105 come to protect the market over here 
But what does the seller do? He initiates more. Okay, 75 lots, 66 lots, 49 lots, 25 lots, 11 lots, 23 lots. And this is the point at which the buyer completely gives up. Okay, so he was adding 105 lots over here, but now 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the buyer completely giving up and the seller sees that and he initiates more into this trade. So 23, 11, 16, 35, 12, 103. Now the seller is fully in control and he proceeds okay to drop this market down. So this is a classic order flow candle telling you okay how the supply okay overwhelmed buyers and if you can read out okay through those zeros available in the order flow chart quickly okay you can make a assumption about where to be whether a buyer is in control or seller is in control and you can take steps accordingly.